The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, we'll hopefully stay with us today. We had a little bit of a problem yesterday with Skype, and also my data went out and had a problem uh, in the in neighborhood with uh, at the neighbor that had to be taken care of. Anyway, this is that pattern we were looking at over the weekend. Three drives to a top, drive one, drive two, drive three. This is no different, folks, than this move right here so far. You can see the moves are very similar coming down. So this is nothing more so far than a two-day correction. This may turn out to be something greater, but we won't know that. And if we get below this, which is down another 500 points, then we'll know, yes, this is something much greater. But right now, you can't say anything more than that other than it's backed off. If we look at this on an hourly basis, you'll see here we, we started down. There was the big ABCD there from Friday. Okay, now, what, what we've done now is we've come down and we stopped right at the 78% level. We've gone below it a little bit. We're trading a little bit below now. But we get below uh, 17,600, below these levels that we just talked about, that's when you'll know that the market is probably going to go uh, uh, quite a bit lower, look, at least make a pretty big correction. Okay, now let's just move on and take a look at the Russell because the Russell was the same type of pattern and it's doing pretty much the same thing. Here's what we were looking at. This is the same 13-day pattern here from high to high. There's high, high, high. That was off by one day. Now you see you're backing off here very, very slightly. This is hardly any sell-off at all here in the Russell. You notice on this one it backed off quite a bit, so there's really nothing to be afraid of here. Uh, it does make you know beautiful ABCD patterns, just like we just, we'll just draw these in so the folks can take a look at it. There's your ABCD here. There's your ABCD there, and that comes down to this level right here. It should have got to uh, 2098. It got to 2097, pretty close. We're trading at 2069 right now. All right, let's take a quick look here at the gold market. Everybody seems to be uh, focusing on that. But I, before we get to that, I wanted to show you the market for silver because silver has acted has already sold off $2,500 today from the high. Let's get this uh, chart up here in the silver one second here. Take me just a second. I'm going to put it up with the AI because it has a perfect fit today, which is nice. There's where we are in silver coming down. Now, look look where we are in gold. We're right up near the high, but silver has sold off a great deal. So we're going to look at this on an hourly basis, and we're going to see how high we got. We almost got to the 1.618 expansion up here at 24.51. We got to 24.47. Now we're trading at 23.98, so we're backing off just a little bit. Does this mean that we could be looking for gold to back off a little bit? Let's take a look at where we are in the gold right now. Now, here's the AI program with the gold. You can see here that we've had a pretty good run up, and it should have topped in here, but it's not. It's still going higher. At this point right here, this is where the market should have been making a top, but it was making a bottom. That tells you that it still has power to go to the upside. The reason for that is all you have to do is to invert it because these cycles flip and invert just like they do in everything else in life. We'll get this out of the way and get this out of the way. You'll see there was your bottom coming in here uh, in this level right here. Now, this, there's your ABCDs. You can see those easy enough. All well, this is a timing device that tells you that you've got odds in your favor. It's only right about 60% of the time, but when, it, when it's right, it's really right. So let's uh, remind ourselves of that. Now, let's take a look at a couple other markets here that we need to be focusing on, one of which, let's get it up here because I think this is the one that will be – you're going to go back here and look at this and say, holy moly, guacamole. I like this one really a lot. So here's what we're watching. This is the wheat market. You know, they can say what they want about crude oil and gold and everything else, but that stuff is indigestible. 
when, when push gets to shove, people get, fight more about having food than any place else. So we are now just 13 cents away from 533. That's where I want to be buying. They go 532 and a half, 533 is where I want to be buying May wheat. Okay, uh, we thought it was going to bottom here. I mentioned, it, you know, it had a nice rally of 13 cents, and then it gave it all back really quickly. So that tells us we're still heading down to this level right here of about 532. Okay, the other one that's interesting that we've been watching here is the soybean market, and this is this is one that's really is is on our watch list, especially with today's action. Look at today's action, folks. The low that we made today was exactly 382 of this whole move down. This is this has got potential for being <laughs> really super bullish. Now it's not acting that way because you started to back off, but look at this action for today. You came in, stopped right exactly at the 382, and you rallied. And it's only nine cents, but nine cents is quite a bit. But the way it's acting now, it looks like this is where we want to be going with wheat going down. It's going to be hard for beans to go up. So let's just look at this price from your X, A, B, C, D. There's your X up here. Okay, we're going to move it down, put it there. There's where you want to be watching the, the beans. 5 to 11.33, that's down 10 cents from where we are right now. This very small range, so this is certainly possible. I'd be a buyer here at 11.33, stopping here at about 10 cents. 11, uh, let's see, 33, 23. Put your stop right here at the old low. So you got to be a farmer for uh, 500 bucks, certainly. Hey, look, folks, I, this you know I've been watching this stuff for a long time. Long term, look at look where we are right now. Okay, this is like where we were. This this cycle thing is no there. This is like where we were back in the 70s when they had the Russian grain robbery. Now this is a weekly A B C D to the downside. Do we have another A, B, C, D coming to the downside here possibly? Yes, there could be a washout down at that level. I don't believe that there is. But remember, this is March, folks. You see this distance right here between March and April? This is when the farmers go out into the field and spread those seeds around, put in the fertilizer, and then we're going to find out what it does. See what happened last April? We came all the way down into June. You know, and look what happened after the crop was planted. It looked like it was not going to be uh, anything really great. And then, boom, look what happened. We rallied $3 a bushel. That's what I'm looking for is this particular pattern coming in. Here is another one here. This was in July. They start late sometimes. That's when the weather changes. But for all these years I've been in here, I've never been in a year where we didn't have at least one or two crop scares. So that's what I'm following here. Those of you that get the videos each day, that's what I'm looking for. So keep our fingers crossed, and we'll be there when the uh, the band plays and that lady sings the final value of the national anthem. All right, now let's look uh, back at the stock market here for a second. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Average here. This is a four-minute chart. What we're going to do now is we're going to go down to an hourly chart because I wanted to show you something that I think was important. We had an ABCD coming down today, but now we've come lower. You see, we've, we've just about made the bigger ABCD that's here. Let's just clean all this out. I know you love to see these ABCDs, but we're going to be here. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey folks, this is the Dow Jones Industrial Average here. I just want to go over some of these uh, ABCD patterns uh, going back over the last year. So you can see the bottom was made here. There's A, B, C, D. Uh, just see how close this one comes. A, B, C, D. Uh, well, let's get pretty much on the money. Then we have another one. This should have gone to 38,226, and we got to uh, 39,000. Uh, three, so it went uh, another eleven hundred dollars. Now, when it w maybe because of this gap, I don't know, but I know this was the one of those big earnings gap that we had. Here was the big, big cycle bottom there on October the twenty seventh when we had the lunar eclipse. Okay, now when we exceed price levels like this, the first thing I want to do is I want to check to see if I expand this by one point two seven, if it tells me that that's what the level was. And if I move that over, you'll see that it didn't even get to that level. It got to 39,982, so that missed it by quite a bit. Now, folks, <laughs> I, I am, well, let, let's just not worry about that here. But anyway, you can see we're starting to back off a little bit. I think we're making new lows on the day right now. Hold on. Let me get this up here to see. Yeah, we're very, very close here, uh, making new lows on the day. And I think we're heading down to this level that we just looked at. Let's just get this up here. Uh, on the hourly chart, I think it's 30. There we go. That should be coming in here today at 38613. We're only 70 points away from that level. So that should be the first level of support. Then we'll find out whether we have a pretty good rally. The last rally we had lasted three days. It went from 38,800 up to 39,200. So the Dow Jones rallied 600 points into this move right here. And now we're coming down reaching towards these uh, levels right in here. But I, uh, when I see what I hear, what's going on with Bitcoin, I mean, I'm not, in, I'm not involved with it, folks, but I've, I've got a library of this stuff that I've studied very, very extensively. 
and it's just like a, a, just like the shoe shine boys back in the days of uh, uh, the top of 29 and and also this other stuff that's out here this is a uh, I know you, you're not you're not involved with it like I have been my whole life, but when I see stuff like this and I see stories where people put these things in, uh, and you, 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 the Bitcoin, it's a figment of the ever, you know, there's an old adage, I think it was by uh, Abraham Lincoln. He said, it's better to keep your mouth shut and be thought a fool than to be open your mouth and remove all doubt. Well, I've been doing this for 17 years, so you already know what that is. <laughs> but anyway, just be real careful if you're involved with these cryptos. I would run like the wind away from it after what's happened these last last week. It was Coinbase this way. It was uh, Binance. And believe me, Binance is a Chinese company. They can, they're not in, in any control. Yeah, sure, they get fined here and there, but what's, what's $4 billion? It isn't their money. Anyway, just be real careful. It's not a it's a jungle out there and we're at the levels here in the Dow Jones as you can see here the S&P all these others. Uh, we we're at a level where we could really see uh, one hell of a correction. Let's just look and see what a 382 correction would be here in the uh, Dow Jones. 382 correction would take us down uh, only uh, to 36,720 only 3,000 points. And believe me, folks, when these things start down, I know you don't see it here, but we know from old markets that when they do start down, they go down. And that's uh, the bottom line of what we're, what we're looking at uh, right here. From my perspective, on this particular move like this, if we close below uh, 36,000 today, 38,600, that's 100 points from where we are right now, I'm going to add another contract on. If you remember from our previous session that we had, when we had this last rally, it went right up to the 78% level. I pointed that out to us yesterday on this move. There's where we were to the exact tick right there. And if you look at this, there's your nice little three drive pattern right there. There's drive, drive one, drive two, drive three. We could just draw that in and you'll be able to see that's what we're looking at right now. And did I go through the, uh, am I talking through the whole, uh, I guess I did, didn't I? Wow, maybe not. Son of a gun. I thought there was a break in here, but evidently not. Anyway, that's what I'm watching here with this. So if we get below this 36,000 level, 38,600, I am going to uh, put another position on. But just because this market is... <laughs> it's got a lot of people long, folks, and when they try to get out to that door, that, that the hinge on that uh, corral door gets a little rusty at these levels. We haven't seen anything like this before. You guys, you weren't, you weren't. I, well, I haven't seen anything like this since the dot com bubble, and that was anything like what happened in you know 1929. You know, 29, the market rallied 30 percent in three months, and then what did it do? It gave up 95 uh, percent of it over the next uh, three and a half years. So. Be real careful up in here, folks. And remember, in 29, we had the greatest economy going, refrigeration, television, radio, automobiles. You know, it was just amazing. All the telephones, all this stuff was – and what happened? <laughs> took a long time for the market to rebound from that because it didn't make a new higher high from 1929 until, folks, are you ready for this? 1958. It went back that many years, folks, that many years, 27 years, for 27 years to get that uh, up to those old high levels. But then they say, yes, but look what it did after that. That's correct. We live in the greatest country in the world, and don't you forget it. We're here for a reason, and we're having some fun. All right, let's move on here. Let's see how we're doing with the old time on the wall here. we got two minutes left. I wanted to cover uh, someone asked a question about this uh, stock that I have no idea what it is, except that it's MicroStrategy. It's the uh, thing with Michael Saylor. Let's see what it's doing today here. This is the one that gapped up. Well, it came back and filled the gap. That's one thing that's done here. Here's what it, here's was it yesterday, and it went from 14,000. God, it's turned, dropped 4,000 points here, folks. Now, let's just look at this on a real short-term time frame. Going to look at it on a real short term frame because this should, should be. Oh, I don't even know if I get the data. Yeah, here it is. Here's what we are. This is what's happened. Now it's trading pretty good. It's an eight minute chart. And right here, right here is your first, uh, this is your first uh, place to. Oh, this is beautiful. This is the best, the best pattern you can get in all of short selling right there. ABCD. 
There's the 382 is right there, so it's right on spot, almost exactly at the 382. We're going to paper trade this, folks. Going to go short here at 1193, and we'll put a stop here at 1203, and we'll see how this thing uh, works out. But that's the best pattern that you want to be looking for, okay? We will get that sometime in the stock market here, but probably not today because it's a little bit early here. Today, we might not even make new lows. Who knows? Has a high probability of it, but still not too much. All right, let's double check the clock on the wall, see how we're doing. Still got a minute to go. Got a bunch of questions here that I'm going to try to answer as we go through. One of them is with the uh, with the corn. So let me get the uh, corn up here because I, I really think these are going to be affected by the uh, – <clears throat> Hold on by a second by the uh, wheat market because the wheat is uh, it's a really big one. See, we're back to the 382 now in the corn, and you can see there's another ABCD coming in here. I think this is going to hold, uh, but again, um, you're never sure, but it, it still should hold. That's what I think is. But watch that wheat, that's the one that you want to be looking at, boys and girls. We'll be right back. gold report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, so we're going to take a look here at the weekly chart on gold to try to see where our targets are. 
this is where we had the big move up into new high ground. Remember, the market dropped $100 in one day. We went from uh, 2152 all the way down to in two day. Well, this is weekly, but this one day was uh, over $100, $120. And it made a low right here. And if we looked at that on the weekly from your low up to your high, you'll see that was spot on exactly 50% retracement. That high was at 21.52. The high today was 21.50. We're trading at 21.49 right now. This is either going to be a double top up in here or we're going to complete one more swing. That would be your ABC leg right here. And that would take us up to 22.04. Now, the difference between 21.50, and that's $50, folks. And if it can move this much in one day, you can imagine what it, in a week, you can imagine what it could do in a couple of days. So we could easily see 2,200 uh, in the gold market. Here, Here's my dilemma, folks. I People ask me this question, and I, I don't know how to answer it. If we take a look at what gold is involved, this is the gold miners index, okay? This is really... Uh, you, I, it's hard to believe that this is what it is. Look, it's actually close. Here's there was a low just a few days ago. We could only make a 50% return. Remember, gold is way, way up here. Look at this on the weekly chart, folks. Now you can tell me we got gold breaking out above these highs back here by a lot, and all we're doing with the gold miners is doing this. What I mean. This is like the 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 uh, what do you call those uh, Bitcoin miners? I mean, if they're mining something, don't they get paid for it? This should be mother god and country stuff. But no one's been. I should ask Tom O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, because he really knows this more than I do. But I don't understand how the gold miners <clears throat> can be lagging so badly, given the fact that the price of gold and silver are moving so much higher. <coughs> Let's look at this. Sorry, folks. On the Let's see where we are. We're right at the 50% level today. The high of the day was uh, 29.20. We're trading a little bit below that right now. But that's the thing that I ask myself that. And believe me, no one's more bullish on gold <coughs> than I am. I think it should be trading at 3,500 to 7,500. But I've been bullish gold since Hector was a pup, and that dog's 13 years old now. Okay, let's move on here and get on, ask another question that's, or two that someone might ask, and that is about the live cattle. Let's get this up here. And we're, I haven't even looked at live cattle today because I've been focused on too many other things, as you can imagine. Hold on here. Here is April cattle. We're trying to get – oh, we're getting close. Just be patient. Just be patient. It's getting there. It's getting there. There it is, what you want to be looking at. That's up another four cents. This is where you want to play the game here in the cattle, up here at around 192, trading it just four cents away. That's Take this out. We're going to be there in a heartbeat. There's your ABCD leg coming in right here. This was the three drive to a bottom pattern. This is what we're looking at in some of these other markets like wheat and other places. We'd like to see something like this and have the big move up. Okay, now the next one someone asked about was the piggies. So we'll get the piggies up here. One second. <clears throat> and we should be okay here. Hold on. There they are. Here's the April hogs. These also should be, uh, ah, they're down today. Shucks. See, we were, well, they did, it completed this one up here at 88.60, and now we are moving down. So how close should we be to coming down here? On the hog. So first thing we want to do, you've got an ABCD pattern right here. You've got it. Let's just clean this out so we can see it real clearly. There's your ABCD pattern. All we're going to do now is to see for the previous low. Looks like spot on 50%. There it is. Let's just draw it in again using the tool to make sure that it's accurate. And that tells us that uh, we're a little below the 50%, uh, 382, not quite to the 50%. There it is right there. So Watch it there. It's a. Uh, it's still near. It's still down on the day. So watch this tomorrow or today, down here exactly at the 50% level here, which would be down about another 80 cents. So watch that. There's where your ABCD comes in uh, at that point uh, in the hogs. Okay. I think that would be pretty good. You can see here the 1.618 expansion. How it told you where the high was. Up in here. Just draw this in so you'll be able to see it easily. In other words, you took that whole distance here. From here down to there, there's your 1.618 expansion, and that came within um, 
Oh, wow, pretty close. See, this is 48.90. Whoa, misses it by 60 cents. And now this is where we are uh, right now here uh, in the hogs. Okay, now someone asked a question about why is Apple, Apple having so much trouble? Well, it's having trouble for quite a while now because it's been in a downtrend given the fact that uh, it's got so much bad news going on. Oh, my goodness, big gap down today. Oh, we're right at the one. Oh, if you want to buy Apple, this is the place to buy it. You're right at the 1.618 expansion of this whole move down, folks. In other words, uh, that's not correct. Let me let me do this differently because that changed a little bit. <clears throat> there, see, this 61% retracement is not right because it's already gone below it. You can see we're headed down here to this level right here. Uh, this would probably be done on big volume. A lot of bad news coming out of China. And everything. This is where it should have held right here. Bad news came out. Boom. Down she came. It should have been out of it. If you'd have bought that here, you had a profit in it at the end of the day. But boy, on the open, you should have been out at 177. And down she came. So uh, doesn't look like it has any. Pr uh, well, it's not that bad of shape. It's just at about the 382. There's the old high right here. Maybe they're giving this thing a bad rap. Let's just take a quick look here. There we are. They're setting. Oh, it's a little below the 382 right now. Yeah, there's the. It's setting right at the 382. It's a 171 and change. It's trading at 170, 70. If you, if you wanted to buy Apple, the only thing I can say is it's cheaper to buy it here than it was there and was there and was there. It's cheaper to buy it right here. That's the only thing I can say. But frankly, with these gaps down, I would say gaps are unknowns. So you don't want to mess with that. Try to find the easy ones, folks. That's the setups that you're that you're really trying to find. Okay. Now let's get back here to another one that's always on everybody's mind, except mine, because I don't like electric cars. If I can't hear the engine running, I'm not going to get in it. Okay. Let's move on here to Tesla, and uh, we'll get up here. <clears throat> Ooh, Tesla's coming down also, isn't it? Well, Tesla's been very bearish. You can see here. This is what we were saying here last week. There was your 382 right here. We couldn't even get there. See, the 382 came in at 208, and the high was uh, 206. And we only, you know, 208 was that, and look where it is now. We had a couple of nice, you can see the small ABCDs that have formed right in there. We can blow them up, and those of you who don't like ABCDs, maybe you'll learn something from them. But there's your A, B, C, D. And another A, B, C, D, and then down she comes. Where does this mean we're heading? All I can tell you is, folks, if this thing rallies a little bit, sell it because it doesn't look very good. There's where you're on the longer-term picture here in Tesla. Three lower highs. Remember the 135 pattern? This is telling us it wants to go lower, boys and girls, somewhere around 128. Let's stay tuned, 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, someone asked me to take a look at Coinbase. I don't know what it is. I know we looked at it the last time we were, you can see there's where the highs were made last August, and we had a 382 here. There was your first really clear Gartley. You had a beautiful Gartley there at the 78% at 46. It hit 240 today. That's a heck of a run. And uh, let's just look to see if there's any of these patterns that we look at. There's your. A, B, C, D pattern right here. A, B, C, D, that measure two, uh, 231, it's trading at 224 right now. The high was uh, 239, so it was a little bit uh, above the A, B, C, D, but we had some gaps on the way up. So let's look at this on the weekly. But, you know, I don't know anything about these things. I should just shut up. But there's when it first came out. Remember when they were first listed? Uh, back in 2019, so that's even farther back. But there's where we are. We're at the 50% retracement of that whole thing. But look, we've gone from 40 to 240 here in just about uh, 13 months. That's uh, that did more than you can get at the Bank of America, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one here that we want to take a look at. Uh, as far as, hold on one second, I want to bring something to your attention here regarding copper someone asked me a question of copper and i'll get this up here okay here's copper it used to be known as dr copper but uh, it's actually held up incredibly well considering we had this big move up we've had three lower highs in here now drive one drive two drive three right at the 78 percent level we had a little bit of a rally and this looks like it has bias to the downside folks here in copper whether that has any bearing on the stock market anymore, I don't know because everything's related to AI in the stock market. And for that, we don't have to uh, worry too much uh, about what we're looking at here today. The one thing that I do, we've only got six minutes to go in this segment. And we'll look here. Uh, I want to get this stock market thing up. So let, let's do the S&P here because uh, do the SPY, it's right there. Because this is where we are, and I'm afraid some of you folks here are going to get hurt really badly, so just be real careful. Here's we are in the long-term weekly. Uh, you notice that uh, what we did do here, this is going back over quite a few years, as you can see here. We'll move this over just a little bit. Okay, uh, we did make a 1.27 expansion. Look when we had this three drive to a top pattern here back in 2022, folks. Market went from 480, you know, dropped about 40%. 
Okay. Now we've come up and we're sitting at the 1.27 expansion of this whole thing. And uh, boy, believe me, there's a lot of space between there and there and there and there. So be real careful, folks. Uh, the thing you want to worry about here, you see last week's low here. We're going to go to a daily just to show you what you should do. Put your stop under last week's low, which would be right there at 504, okay? 504, it's trading at 507 in the cash S&P. Put that right there. Now, we should convert that into the E-mini S&P, so you'll be able to make that uh, correction yourself. So if you move over here, go to that daily chart. This will take a second. All right, there's last week's low. 5060. So if we see a trade below 5060, we're at 5084 right now. Trade below that would not be very good, in my opinion. Okay? Especially after all of these patterns are up in this area right here. This is uh, pretty much, we're almost on the lows of the day now within a couple of points of that. But when we go below this level right here, it's going to be uh, pretty tough. That's. Uh, my two cents worth and I'm sticking to it we've gone through all of these ABCDs before I don't want to go through them again because uh, they're they're not going to change much that's for sure but I believe we're right near the low of the day as a matter of fact that's what we're doing we just made a new low here in this S&P so the key level there is uh, if we go below 50 60 there's probably trouble in River City and you don't want to get involved uh, with that okay one other question about the soybean meal. Let's get soybean meal up here because this is pure protein, folks. This should be the one that leads the the parade up. So there's the daily on December meal. And you'll see here it's still not moving very much, still coming down. We're going to blow it up right here. Take a quick look at this because I think here's another one that we want to be watching very closely. You can see all we did the last few days is we've just been coming down. The, many of these are 382 retracements, a retracement that we made here today uh, off of this high right here. Came in uh, not quite at the 382. It came in off of the last rally high that we had here, just about exactly 61% retracement, and we're still heading lower. That sets up a possibility here. This is why we're watching the wheat and the beans and all this stuff so carefully, is that we could be looking at a really nice A, B, C, D, there's A, B, C, D. To the, let's just draw it in. There's your drive one, drive two, drive three. Now, it's either going to stop it here, 329, which is uh, $9 away, or down at this level right here. This is what we have to determine. And to make things really exciting, guess what happens on Friday, folks? Another grain report. And that's the day we're going to be sending my good old comrade out into the old harbor there in Morro Bay and spreading his ashes to Mr. Twentyman all over there. He's a member of the Neptune Society and they have a big fishing yacht there that they take the ashes out. You can bet your sweet bippy I will not be on that boat. <laughs> I'll crack the champagne across the bow, but they're not getting me on a boat. I don't even get on ships and that's where boats are hung from if they try to get off. Anyway, here's what we're watching here. Pay attention. We get down to this level. You want to be watching this right here. It's one of the videos that I send out at least two or three times a week as we're ready to be a buyer in here. The beans are actually holding up okay. If we look at the soybean oil, there's another one that has a lot of interest for us. Get up here to that uh, right here. There's your Christmas oil. And here's the same thing. We haven't broken out to the upside yet, but we're getting ready. Uh, somewhere here for to see this soybean oil move to the upside. So I'm watching these because this is my last dance for these, I'm afraid, folks, because I've only got a few years left, and I don't think we're going to see anything better than we can get this year. And I want to do a program that I haven't done in a long time, and that is buy more as things go up. And that, I haven't done that for a while. Basically, I scalp. Well, not scalp. I trade patterns, but – you can do this, and uh, we did this on the downside in Treasury bonds, if you'll remember. When Treasury bonds were 164, we said they were going to 128. Nobody believed us. They went to 107, but that's the kind you want to get on because those are – those are uh, they, they, they educate your kids, put a new wing on your house or whatever you want to do. But anyway, this is what we're looking at in the bean oil. Not too much going on yet. We might make another low in here, so that's what we're watching. Remember, we got the report coming in Friday, and that's then we got the planning intentions coming in right after that, I believe, and that's when the farmers say, yeah, this is where we're going to start planting our stuff. And then when, it, when it's planted, 
but that's when God takes over and lets the rain and some and rain come and the sun come up, whatever it is, and see if the crop's going to be any good. But like I said many times, I've been doing this for 60 years, and I've never been in a year where we don't have at least one or two crop scares. And that's what we're waiting to see here this year if we get one. Because, boy, if you think people get excited about crude oil at 120, think if they can't buy wheat at $13 a bushel. And where did it go from $13 a bushel? $5.50 a bushel. Hello, operator. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I uh, put a little notation here. 50.60 on the S&P, we're trading at 50.85. We just made a new low at 50.80. And if we get below 50, 60, this would be the first time we've taken out lows. You see the low here, low here, low here, higher lows all along. This would be the first time that you had one that didn't uh, didn't hold up, and that was coming after, you know, you had the last little uh, move up to the upside right there at 41, uh, 46. The high was 41, uh, 50, 51, excuse me, 51, 41. The high was 51, 57. If we get below that, 
that would tell us, yeah, that's something that is uh, got to be a little careful in here. Remember, this goes back to the February lows. This would be the first time that we've broken below the previous lows since February. That's 22, 24 trading days, folks. So uh, respect that. You get below 50, 60. What I'm afraid is, uh, well, I'm not afraid of anything but because I try to use stops. But if we gap below here, boy, if we gap below here, that's – that means you trapped a whole bunch of folks, and you don't like to see that happen here, okay? Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here, and we'll see what's going on. I hope that helps everybody. Thanks for putting up with me today. Thank thankfully, the Skype and everything worked all right today. But we live in interesting times, which is the Chinese curse. One other thing, the Chinese premier is not going to do the press conference this year. That's a big deal, and I don't know why, but... Uh, Better pay attention to things like that. Some things that are different that pop up, they could be precursors of other things that are happening. What? I don't know. Just be careful. Use a stop. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. And we'll see you the next time the gods are willing. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, folks. I think that's it for the show today. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. Mm -hmm.